Hi, this is David from Dyson Bikes. In this video, I'm just going to take you through some of the features of the display of our Tilba electric bike. Uh, first thing to do before we turn the bike on is just make sure that the main power switch is on on the back of the battery. You'll find that on the rear right hand side underneath the battery. Make sure that's in the correct position. Uh, now to turn it on, just a brief press of the power button. That's the one here on the top left. Uh, and I'm going to turn on the backlight so it's a bit easier to see. Uh, so you do that by just briefly pressing the power button again. That'll bring on the backlight so it's easier to, to see the display at night. And it also turns on the lighting on the bike. We've got a headlight and a rear tail light on this bike. And that turns on as well when you press that power button. Uh, looking at the display as we go around, you'll see some various symbols and information here. Uh, you'll see when we turn the backlight on, you've got a little headlight symbol there to let you know that that's been activated. We've got our speed in kilometres per hour. Uh, these bars here uh, indicating that we have a full battery. Those will decrease as you ride the bike, going down to when there's only one left at your lowest level. Uh, here we have information such as trip distance, time, and odometer as well to show you how far the bikes travel. This is a brand new bike, so everything's back to zero. Uh, we have 200 here. This 200 just indicates that this is a 200 watt bike. Uh, pass is pedal assist setting. So in this level, um, this is level three, we can go down to zero. Zero being no assistance at all. And then you've got one through to five and that'll add pedal assist or you can use the throttle at the same time and we have h as well h is throttle only no pedal assist here this little dot here this is actually a bar graph and you'll see that uh, rise and fall as you ride the bike that's showing you how much power you're using so the idea is if you're looking to ride it for range you want to keep that as low as possible uh, now to the other feature we have here on this bike is a usb charge port the charge port can charge your mobile phone, lights, uh, any small USB powered device you can uh, charge off that port there. Now that's off at the moment. To turn it on, just press and hold set and plus, and that's going to turn on that USB port. You'll see here that USB symbols appeared. Just letting you know that that is now switched on. That turns off uh, every time you turn the bike off so there's no need to switch that off again if you did want to switch it off just the same process set and plus again um, so the main thing you'll be using on the bike is these plus or minus keys so we can go down to um, as I said before zero is no assistance at all it's basically a regular bicycle then we have level one level one's really uh, a low level of a pedal assistance so when you're pedaling it'll max the motor out at about 35 watts, which is, is really quite low, but um, enough to just make the bike feel like a lighter bike, uh, but you're still gonna get your fitness level there. You can still use the throttle in that setting though. So if you were say riding here on a flat piece of ground uh, and you come to a bit of a hill and you want a bit more help, you can use the throttle and that will actually give you the full 200 watts at any time by using the throttle. As we go up through the settings, gradually increases up to level 5 which gives you your full 200 watts from your pedal assist uh, and then level H which is no pedal assist at all just a regular bike but the throttle will work so you can ride as a normal bike and, and add power where you need it. Uh, the other thing now you'll notice when you turn the bike on and off is that it will remember the last setting of the pedal assist so we turned it uh, we had it in level four and turned the bike off. It's remembered that. So if you have a favorite setting that will now um, stay with the bike. Uh, the other thing you can do is with the trip meter is to reset it is to, it's a pretty simple process. You just press and hold set. That will go into the settings mode. To reset it, just press minus briefly and that will reset the trip meter. Um, if you're in this setting and you scroll through, you'll see you've got various other settings. Uh, make sure you don't play with these. Keep that on 26 inch. That's the size of the wheel. Um, and then to take it back to the normal mode, press and hold set again. That brings it back to our uh, normal riding mode. Now the bike will automatically switch off after, I think it's about three minutes or so. 
if you're in this uh, normal mode. If you have the lights on though, it will actually stay on. So if you've been riding at night and you come in, just make sure you do actively turn the bike off. Don't just let it sit there, it will, it will stay on. Uh, now I think that's the key features we've covered there. If you do have any other questions though, feel free to get in touch either um, through our website, dysonbikes.com.au um, or you're welcome to give us a call as well and on 03 9503 8880. Uh, thanks for watching.